वर्ल्ड चैंपियनशिप टेक प्लेस फ्रॉम टूडे एंड नेपो एंड डिंग आर गोइंग टू फाइट फॉर द टाइटल विच वॉज हेल्ड बाय द मैग्नस फॉर द लास्ट डिकेड एंड यू नो वॉट चेस डॉट कॉम है जस्ट रिलीज द न्यू बॉट डिंग लिरेन एंड इन नेपो मिनेची and we are going to stimulate the world championship between them we are going to toss up between ian nepominachi and ding liren and whoever gets the toss they will choose the color so let's toss ding liren had just won the toss and he had chose white colors so let's start ding starts with pawn to d4 then d5 by ian nepominachi ding goes for c4 striking in the center and now ian tries to protect his center by playing c6 now knight c3 by ding attacking the center and now ding's counter has given by ian by playing e6 ding again develops his knight and then ian plays knight d7 ding goes for the center by playing e4 striking in the center nepo captures it back and after ding captures knight f6 and it's a slow defense obviously ding protects the knight and there are exchanges of knight and here Nepo does some inaccuracy. Nepo plays f5. This is an inaccuracy because now this e5 square is weak and we will see how Ding is going to take advantage of it in the game. So after f5 Ding just slides his bishop back and now Nepo goes for the bishop check on b4. and ding protects the check by his bishop the queen strengthens its attack and now ding wants to end this tension and he plays a6 attacking the bishop and letting the nepo take the decision so nepo decides to exchange the bishop and after ding takes the bishop with the queen the queens are exchanged on the board as nepo is agreed on the queen exchange and I think this is beneficial for Ding as Nepo is very tactical player. If there were queens on the board, it would have been a great chance for Nepo. But now this is a slightly advantage position for Ding with queens of the board. Let's see what both are going to play further in the game. Nepo tries to bring his knight on f6 and now the point which we discussed earlier that these squares are weak and ding is trying to control it by bringing his rook in the center after that nepo just castles and now the thing which we discussed ding is taking the control of the center by playing knight e5 nepo challenges it by going to knight g5 and ding just simply plays f3 and attack his knight now the knight are exchange and again one piece of ding is always there on that square taking advantage of the weakness in the nepo's position so nepo develops his bishop ding slides his rook again in the attack now there are just some pawn pushes and now ding activate his king by playing king c3 Rook f6 by Nepo. Now there are some little pawn tweaks by Ding to control the game in his manner. And Nepo goes by his rook in the center. And now Ding is trying to cover all his pawn, protect all his weakness, and then go further. Now Nepo goes rook h6, attacking the pawn, and Ding just pushes b3. and asking nepo what you want to do nepo goes for f4 and asking ding make a decision of your pawns your pawns can't be still so ding pushes his pawn nepo slides his rook back and now there is a attack on f3 
Ding protects is by playing bishop to e4 and after g6 pawn to a4 by uh, by ding and now nepo is trying to change the flag of the rook b4 by ding and then a6 by nepo after that ding tries to protect this pawn as he wants to swing his bishop now you can see there are two weaknesses in this position one is obviously the e6 pawn and the other now is c6 pawn let's see how ding is going to capitalize it now nepo tries to protect one of that weakness and ding is trying to play on the queen side he pushes his pawn nepo don't want to open the position and now ding just play rook c5 and trying to get to that c6 pawn there are pawn exchanges and now you can see ding king is very active now nepo also tries to make his king active and ding just plays rook e5 trying to get to the other weakness nepo is again bringing his king on f6 now again ding is trying to activate his king further nepo goes rook d8 and now he wants to change the flanks now ding is attacking this pawn let's see how nepo defends nepo drops his bishop back defending that b6 pawn and now ding goes bishop for f f1 attacking this rook so the rook will move and now he can focus on only that pawn so because the rook is attack nepo has to take his rook back and after that ding tries to attack the f5 pawn now there are three weaknesses which is trying to get on to and once nepo protect that ding slides in with the king and now this pawn cannot be protected so nepo don't care about that pawn and just try to play now on the king side but ding just exchanges the pawn and then take this pawn and now if you count the pawns ding has 1 2 3 4 5 pawns whereas nepo just has 4 pawns and now ding is a pawn up can nepo save this position let's see nepo goes on b8 attacking the b4 pawn and after that ding goes on e2 attacking this weakness that means nepo can take the pawn but he is also giving up the e6 pawn which ding takes by the check now ding drops some checks so that he can drop into his favorable position and in this position ding decides let's play rook d7 and try to win this game obviously nepo takes the pawn and now if you can see the pawns are equal right but ding has in his mind that he can win the pawn and again he is a pawn up and then nepo slides his king to attack ding's rook and then ding plays rook to g7 trying for a checkmate but obviously nepo sees it and he just slides his king so that he can prevent the checkmate now ding goes for rook exchange which is accepted by nepo and now after the exchanges of rook nepo gives h7 check and then ding just protects the check and after rook h3 by nepo ding protects the pawn and nepo here plays pawn to g4 now you know what if you take this pawn your rook is hanging and nepo will win but this don't happen in the game what ding plays is he just pushes the pawn up and after pushing the pawn nepo 
tries to prevent it from queening. So now Ding takes the pawn and now he's two pawns up. Now obviously Nepo has to prevent him from queening. So Nepo gives Ding kings a check. Ding slides his king further. Now Nepo is knowing that there is a possibility of queening. So he's trying to bring his king. So somehow he can protect it from queening. Now Ding is attacking the only remaining pawn in the position. And now after king d6 and rook f4, Ding is three pawns up. Let's see, can he convert this position to a win or Nepo can pull out a draw? Nepo tries to go for this flank on e5. So Ding pushes the other pawn on g5. Now Nepo tries to protect the G pawn and then Ding again protects the G pawn. Now Nepo goes on B file and now Ding pushes the A pawn. Simply now there are too many things so Nepo goes for the D pawn and now again Ding goes with the G pawn. It's going hell for Nepo. Now Ding is just two pawns up. But you know what? This is completely winning endgame. After pawn to g7, Nepo tries to go and protect g pawn from queening. But Ding can just slide in the king and now his threat is to promote this pawn. What can Nepo stop? He takes the g pawn. But you know what? A pawn queens. And you know what? Nepo gives the rook check and he says, your queen is gone. But after king to b7, rook takes queen and king takes rook. If you see this position, ding is just a rook up and this is completely winning position and Nepo resigns in this position and ding is the new world chess champion.